Alright, good evening children. Today we are going to try to understand what are the types of questions in the English language. Types of questions. Before I go into types of questions, let us understand two questions where usually you will make mistakes in answering them. First, who is your father? Next, what is your father? Normally people give a similar answer for these two questions. Who is your father? My father is a businessman. What is your father? My father is a businessman. That is wrong. When we ask who is your father, that means we have to answer father's name. Who is your father? My father is Chinnappa. My father is Gautam Reddy. What servant? But when we ask this question, what is your father? We need to say about the occupation. What is the other word for occupation? Job. What is your father? My father is an engineer. He is a farmer. He is a smuggler. What sir is the occupation of your father? So who is your father? Father's name. What is your father? Occupation or Job. Now let us come to the main topic that I want to discuss today. Types of questions in the English language. There are two types of questions in the English language. First is WH questions. Second one is yes or no questions. Let us first talk about WH questions. WH questions are also called open questions. Open questions. Why they are called open? You cannot answer in one word. Mottam sentence shepharsh. For example, Who is the who is called the father of the nation? Now here you need to answer it as the name, full name, Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, next. What are you doing? I am playing, I am reading a book, I am watching a movie. So sentence and you have to give a complete sentence for the WH questions. Why we call it WH? It starts with WH or with H itself. How are you? I am fine, I am good, I am doing well. So. What are the things that you can observe in these questions? First of all, WH question starts with WH word. Tarvatevuchandi, what is E's, R, R? Helping verbs. Next, after that comes the subject. So, WH questions are called open questions. They start with the WH word and are followed by the Helping word. Because you have to answer in full in a sentence or in a few words, that is why they are called open questions. Now let us try to understand what is called yes or no questions. Now when we talk of yes or no questions, they are called closed questions. That means your answer ends with yes or no. The question is closed there. First, 
Are you coming today? Is this your book? Can she do the work?
Read these two words. Paragraph, para chu. Now why R is getting sound? R is in third position, followed by vowel. So if R is in third place, followed by a vowel, R is sounded. So once again, let's see. Perfume, pardon, parking. Paragraph, parachute, paradise. Because next to R, there is a vowel. R is sounded. Right. Now. <clears throat> next. When somebody dies, on the 11th or 12th day, there is a ceremony. In Telugu, we call it dinam. What do we call it in English? Two words you have to clearly understand for your English vocabulary. First, Falanathanu Sani Poinadu. That is announcement of death. That is called obituary. Obituary means announcement of death. Next, what we call in Dhinam, in Telugu, Dhinam, it is called Opsi quiz ceremony. This is the dinam that we call in Telugu Opsi quiz. 11th or 12th day, Sarikoy Karavata, there is a function to pray for the soul. That is called Opsi quiz ceremony. Obituary, announcement of death, Opsi quiz, it is the function that is held on the 11th or 12th day. Next. <coughs> Normally, if you observe the artists, those who draw and paint, they have a tripod like this. On that, they keep a board and then they draw and paint. Okay. Our tripod, our artist stand name and come in English. Any idea? Okay. Artist. Stand. Painting stand. Painting wooden stand. It is called E A S E L. Easel. But the pronunciation is E A Z E L. Easel. The S again gets Zarsa. The tripod where they paint and draw, it is called easel. Now there are two words which you need to clearly understand the difference in the meanings and the pronunciation. <coughs> Just observe these two words and tell me what do you think is the difference? A R T I S T A R T I S T E what is the difference between these two? First, artist, painter, or one who paints and draws, artist. How will you pronounce this? This is pronounced as artist. A R T E E S T. Artist and an actor, a dramatist, a singer. Valerie, artist, not artist. Artist means a painter or somebody who is good in drawing. Artist. A ye undi. Pronunciation ye e e s t. Artist. An actor, a dramatist or a singer, dancer. They are all artists. Okay, right. Second thing you have to observe that the last T in the English language has got no pronunciation. We are to observe this not a little actually. Spelling you out the last to ye, but no pronunciation. Just observe this. <coughs> what is this word? There. What is the last sound? R. Last sound? Sa. So, last in the English language, spelling you out the, it is not a silent letter, but there is no sound for the last name. Only in two letters you get the sound. Me, we, be, you get little e sound. Three letters and above, e gana of English word last from day, our word is sound le do. 
ఆ లాస్ట్ ఈకి సౌండ్ ఉండదు దట్ ఇస్ నో సౌండ్ ఫర్ ఈ నెక్స్ట్ another common mistake where we make is this word what is this school we distribute no 10 out of 10 all that we tell pamphlet pamphlet that is wrong pronunciation ph is there so ph means f sound the correct pronunciation is pan flat not flat pan flat we distributed pamphlets of our school and the most common you might start studying if you are in inter <coughs> the horrible pronunciation that schools do recept recept it's very wrong please take this money and give me a receipt the p has got no sound <coughs> it's receipt so also as we say mummy keep the alarm no alarm there's one more word that you might be a little confused because nowadays online book is on the cover day it's a very important word me online lo adugutar you should know what that is the word is a i s l e now please try to understand first of all the pronunciation is i s s i let us consider this is a bus window seat next seat madhyala gap here one seat middle seat window seat so the seat madhyala unde gap ee pakkana aa pakkana unde seat ni i seat antaru i seat is the next seat to the walking way in a plane train or aircraft so when you book they are do you want window seat or i seat so i means a walk way pakkana unde seat ni we call it i i seat all right <coughs> <coughs> let us talk about a few other important things as far as the english language is concerned now first of all when we talk about um, let me give you one word how can you improve your english the main thing you need is vocabulary enduku maatlade start chestaru stuck up aipothu enduku you are not getting words further so let us take one word for example let us take uh, what is this word the correct pronunciation is that ex has got ig sound ig zami ne shan si o n t i o n the pronunciation is shan <coughs> permission induction t i o n s on the sound is shan now for example now in this word suppose now i ask you minimum three letters or more start making some words now what are the words immediately that comes to your mind m a n man m a t e mate in this what else can be formed t a m t t a m e t m e a t me so this way with one word a long word having two or three vowels every day you practice for 10 minutes try to build a 50 60 words within 6 months your vocabulary will go very high because without vocab vocabulary your english language is zero you need to improve yourself and this is not magic it doesn't take more time in fact three or four in a group can play a game given one word five minutes time who writes the maximum number of words so this way you start getting new words now in this for example m i n e mine m i n t mint what is mint a sweet chocolate we think it is but what is the main meaning for mint a 
प्लेस वेर कॉइन्स तैयार चेस्टर कर वन रुपी टू रुपी कॉइन्स दैट प्लेस इस कॉल्ड अ मिंट सो दिस वे मेनी फाइंड सच वर्ड्स यू डोंट नो द मीनिंग यू वांट टू चेक अ डिक्शनरी व्हेन यू चेक द डिक्शनरी व्हाट हैपेंस यू गेट थ्री फोर मीनिंग्स फॉर इच वर्ड विथिन थ्री टू सिक्स मंथ्स द वोकेबुलरी गोस वेरी वेरी फास्ट एंड विदाउट इंग्लिश बिलीव मी देयर इज नो फ्यूचर my background i come from an engineering college where i was teaching even for the professors spoken english the students who got 95% in their academics while it was 16000 20000 rupees job per month the students who got 57 58% 1 lakh 20000 why communication skills english language while at mark secondary they need your spoken language and that is in your hands Each day, learn five words. Twenty-five days, hundred twenty-five words into six months. Heavy. You can stand anywhere and speak with anybody as far as English language is concerned. <coughs> right. Now, basically, let us see. I don't know if I've taught this earlier to you all, but I just want to close up with a small sentence. What's special in the sentence? What is special? Any words only. Any? Any? All letters, not words. All alphabet. A to Z. A to Z. Z. Because normally we are using the word Z, but Z has got no pronunciation in English. Like zero, it is not zero. Zebra, it is not zebra. Okay, right? Okay, right. Now, <clears throat> the last thing that I want to talk about, as far as the English language is concerned. <clears throat> How can you improve your English? There is a game for Scrabble. S C R A B B L. It costs about two hundred or two hundred fifty rupees. You can get it in Bangalore and Chennai. What is the advantage of this game called Scrabble? Now. They you will be given about 110 tiles with alphabets, in them, letters of the alphabet. So you have to take out from a bag. Each time you can pick up seven tiles. Then you have to place them on the board and form words. Once you finish placing, the next person picks up the tiles, and after your word or attaching your word, he starts building them. In this way, what happens? Your vocabulary increases very fast. You have to keep a dictionary by the side and refer. At times you don't know a word. You're just writing it. You're placing it there. Who knows? You check the dictionary. Maybe the word is correct. Then you learn the meaning. So because there is no question of magic as far as learning English is concerned. It's very simple. You need to put your heads and do this. First thing is this. Second thing is word building. Then. Jumbled the letters. Learning five words, new words every day. You follow these. Play Scrabble. Practice word building, jumble letters, learning five new words every day. Within three to six months, you'll find yourself really powerful in the English language. When I say jumble words, for example, what can that word be? Yeah, it's jumble. Find the word. Find the word. B L O O D blood. So this way, you form a team of four people. 
two to Aspartas. Each one give the other these words. Your mind starts working. Your mind starts working. It's very, very important. Then what happens? Different words come to your mind. That is the only way to recollect the English language because once you leave the English class in your schools, even or colleges, I am sure even that 50% is in Telugu only. Once you, that class is over, it's totally Telugu, Telugu, Telugu. Back at home, with your friends, anywhere. Your future lies in the amount of English words you know and how easily you can speak the language. Please remember, your marks is secondary. Without spoken English, you cannot find a good, decent, salary job. So please try to work on this. In the next class, I'll take up another topic and uh, we'll see that within three or six months, we develop your English language. Thank you. <coughs>